No, Father Fahey, where are we? We're in actually the church that's attached to Church Island. Um, this is the fifth building on this spot. The first building was, this is known as Shrine Island as well as Church Island, and it was a shrine to the pagan gods. And there was a building there, the remains of a building there um, that was dedicated within to the pagan gods. The first church built here then was in the 6th century by St. Finnan. He was a disciple of Enda of Arnhem. And he built a church there, almost the same area size as this. And then there was another church built in the 11th century. And the last church that was built here was in the 14th century. And we have, uh, this is where when we bought the island in 1994. Uh, that was the abbey, that was the church that had to be taken down, all except around here. That would that would go back right to the 6th century. And it had to be rebuilt again uh, and restored. And was there much of the stone here? Were there a... All the stone that we, that we took down from the church is back up again. That's the original? Yes. The altar here then is made is, is, is an oak, uh, black oak, and it comes from different parts of Mayo. That part here comes from near Propatrick, bottom of Propatrick. Yeah. And that's about 8,000 years old. That was, that was going 8,000 years ago. Either. This altar here is symbolic, black oak as well. Again, that could be six or 7,000 years old. And it's Christ breaking the bread for us, Breaking the word and the gospel. It's the Mass, it's the Eucharist. Christ breaking the bread and the word for us. And how long was it active, this in the old days now? This was active until 1499. The last person out here now was Kumi Macfirkna. He was one of the monks from the Abbey. And he spent his 50 years out here decorating the books, uh, 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 putting leather on them and everything like that. And when we were excavating here, we found a lot of his work here. Okay. And we found a papyrus stone, which was a very precious stone, only found in Rome. So there was trade between here and Rome. And they're all connected in with Ballantubber Abbey, but Ballantubber Abbey was later, I think, was it? A lot later, actually. Before that, Ballantubber Abbey was 1200. Well, 1200, 1200, yeah. So this was going back to 600. 600. 600 AD, St. Finan. St. Patrick never came out here. Never came out. Because the tradition was that all the goblins, and this was a shrine to the pagan gods, and he sent all the goblins out there and all the demons out, and he went off and converted the rest of the country. So it was Finland that converted and turned it into a, a monastic settlement, a heritage settlement. And you got involved with them? Then in 1992, um, we bought this island. Who's we? The trust. The trust. The Abbey Trust. Because in the confiscation of the land, it had been confiscated with the Abbey lands. Mm -hmm. So we bought it from a local person. And uh, it's, it's very rich in archaeological, but it's full of, full of archaeological gems and everything like that. But we haven't excavated it because... I was going to say that. The archaeologists haven't been out here yet, have no, they? No, no, we don't. We just deny them the truth. Do you think it'll be done sometime? Probably sometime, yes. But we have... You see, with archaeology now, they can they discover a lot of things without ever digging up. Without no digging, yeah. So we hope that that's what they do with it. You never got a metal detector out here, no? No, we're not allowed to. <laughs> you reckon there's, there must be some things around here, some place? Oh, there would be a lot of things. We, that, for instance, we were just digging the, <coughs> the topsoil for the hut out there. We came across uh, um, an, an axe, uh, a liturgical axe. And that was with that, the, 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 the thing we found in Antrim, the uh, stone we found in Antrim. So there was a link between here and Antrim even at that time. Yeah. Across from us here is Doom Peninsula. Now that's tough, that has 26 megalithic mon monuments. In it. 26. 26. And that's where the hunter gatherers, the first inhabitants of Ireland, they would have been on that day, Loch Carra. Mm. So this is Loch Carra? This is Loch Carra. There's a load of historical monuments on this island, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Apart from that, like castles yeah. and tower houses and. Yeah, yes, there are. Amazing. It's, it's, it's an amazing, rich culture. And also, uh, herbs and fauna. Uh, it, the cast limestone mm -hmm. is, is so rich with it's, it's just equal to to, to a clay. You have down clay. There are fantastic slabs over there, aren't there? Yeah, looking at them coming in on the beach, it's on the shore, it's full of them. Yeah. So you love this place. Yes. You love Bell and Tupper. Yes. How did you get involved in all this stuff anyway? Well, I did archaeology for my degree. Well, that was a help. 
and being a clergyman as well. Another help. Yeah. It puts it all together, yeah? yeah? Where are you from originally? Yeah, oh, you're a Mayo man as well. Yeah. True blue. So there's some uh, uh, children buried outside here, or was there? Yes. There's only one burial inside, and that was there. One and down there. And that was the of the hermit, um, because uh, there was no, there'd be no lay burial within the church. But the others were buried right around. And in fact, it was a very poignant burial. On the table outside, there was a burial of a woman, a skeleton of a woman. And each side, she had two children. Oh. But there was also, lying across her, sitting was a, 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 a skeleton of a man. So the, <coughs> the story would probably be that he brought in the, in Slavon times, he brought in the woman, she was dead, with the two children, and sat down and waited for death. Waited for death. They don't let they don't let a lot of Irish cottages, didn't they? Yes. They sat in the corner and waited for death. Yes, because they had no choice. Yeah, and they wanted to be as near the church as possible. Well that was near. Yeah. So what have we here then? It's a common grave of the the remains of the of uh, fifteen juveniles and four adults. Nineteen from just in the excavation down there. Just in the, yeah. In the excavation, yeah? In the excavation down there, just one was inside. And where did they think they came from? They have come in and want to be buried here, mostly during famine times. From the analysis we made on the bones, they died from malnutrition and all sorts of things. Oh, okay, right. Sad times. Sad times. Now, there was one from the 6th century. And you, you got a carbon dated or whatever they do? All carbon dated. And Please. also analysed what they died from. How many uh, historical sites are around here? How many are you involved in that? Around the lake. Yeah, around the lake. And you have Ballantorby Abbey and you have here. here. And you have the furrow. Have you the furrow? furrow yeah. What's the furrow? The furrow tells our whole journey from Neolithic times down to the present age. Mm. Yeah, in our cultural journey. Our cultural journey and, and quest. Mm. And these places are all open to the public, are they? Yeah, yeah. Cool.